Yo, who's that? It's also Lisa. Lisa, off air. Here we have Jordan King, singer, songwriter and producer, but that is not all that there is to you. Who are you and what are you about? Well, yes, as she said, my name is Jordan King. Oh, so you can... Let's <laughs> no, try Mac, <laughs> trying to take my job. It's cool. It's you're it to you. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, my name is... pictures. And that's, that's really what our artist is. We paint pictures, whether that be through sound or vision. And that's me. I'm definitely painting pictures for me. <laughs> She's making me laugh. <laughs> well, I'm, about, I'm, I'm about good music, mainly. First and foremost, I'm about good music. Um, it's just, for me, I mean, I just, I'm here to express myself. I'm here to just help people understand me and help other people understand themselves at the same time. And you dropped your first single, mm -hmm. Hood Love, mm -hmm. a couple of years back. Yeah, it's been a while. I've got some questions for you. <laughs> you did not, you didn't drop it just when you wrote it. You wrote it years before. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. how old does that make you? Me, I'm 21 now. Mm -hmm. So I mean, when I made Hood Love and I actually wrote it, I think I was about, 16. Okay. What did you know about Hood Love at that age? Clearly a bit too much. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Did clearly you have any nah. inspirations? I read a lot of books, you mm. know, I read a lot of books. What books were you movies. reading? I quote the lyrics, yeah? Um, Hood Love, you said something like, it's about you, you're not there in the morning. You've done yeah? your research, man. So what? So, Cause I had it on my phone. Yeah. Yeah. When it dropped, well, I had man. the. You know the ones when you had your Samsung and you'd record it on the phone. Oh <laughs> you geez. Didn't actually, it was that bad. It was that wow. bad. It's a deeper story than not being there in the morning. It's not about that. It's it's the story of the song is more about a guy that um doesn't know how to express himself. Yeah. So even if he wanted to express himself, he could. But you did your first um, headlining show yesterday. Yes. How was that? It was great, like um, my first headline show of the year, like it was an amazing turnout. I mean, um, everyone was just showing me lots of love. There was great energy there. And uh, me, and the, me and the band, we just rocked it, man. We had a good time. Yeah, but you haven't got your own um, EP of yet. I've, um, well, I'm working on my second EP at the present moment. So my first EP is ready to go. Yeah. Um, I'm just biding some time and sorting some bits out and making it just perfect and just right for everyone before I drop it. But before you drop it, you're still dropping a few um, yeah, I've got quite a few singles, of course. Out. Yeah, and you do um, covers, quite yeah. a lot of covers. I mean, now not so much. Um, yeah. Before I done it just to help people understand where I was going to be coming from and how mm -hmm. things were changing. So when Royal came out, people kind of understood it more because yeah. they'd heard the remixes. Yeah. So now it's just about bringing out original material. I mean, recently I brought out um, Say My Name. Yeah, I loved that. Like yeah, oh, I really loved you. it. And you made it your own. That's what I liked. I appreciate that. Say My Name was an accident. We was in the studio, um, me and the producer was just vibes and we were playing, was playing a tune and you know what, the chorus just came to me and I was mm -hmm. just singing it and I was like, nah, I'm not going to put that in there. And then it was just like, you know what, why not? Yeah. And then, yeah, people just vibed with it. So as an upcoming artist, what makes you different to everyone else who's trying to also make it? I think one thing that makes me different is I focus on the music. Okay. Like, first and foremost, it's about music. I don't care who I work with or what I do. If the music's great, that's what I'm about. And, I mean, I feel like the, the music, the style, is, is just a vessel for the message, which is in the song. Yeah. So that's what I'm about, is the song. I love songwriting, I love painting a picture, building a story. And just being, being that act, me as an artist, I want to be like someone's wife, for example, or husband, for example. Do you know I mean? Like, <laughs> wife or husband, you want to take them anywhere. Yeah. Like, you want to take them to the club, you want to mm -hmm. take them home to have, have dinner with mum. Like, you want to take them out and rave with them. You want to go everywhere with them and be yeah. able to be comfortable in all those situations. Mm -hmm. And for me, I feel that's what an artist should be. You should be a person that can follow you through your life and be like with you every step of the way. And so that's what I'm trying to create. So what started your journey, your musical journey as an artist? Um, I think... My mum first and foremost, probably I was, I was born Jordan King, so yeah. that's my birth name. Um, For real? Yeah, it's my birth name. Everything just flows now. <laughs> Everything flows. No, I, I thought that was your, um, just your artist name, because because yeah. Royal. I was like, oh, that that fits. I mean, that was a journey. So from obviously, when I was young, I used to sing a little bit and bits and pieces. But when I really started to take it serious, I firstly started as a producer. Mm -hmm. So I just used to just produce tracks for people and rappers used to come into studios and work with me. And then I started to write songs and it was like, I had no one to sing the song. Mm -hmm. So I decided to just do it myself. And then from there, I just started to work on it and people started to like the stuff and we built up. And then obviously that's where Hood Love started. And from there, we kind of progressed. Mm -hmm. Hood Love. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so what's next for you though? What is next? next um, time to take over the world no, I'm joking yeah. um, 
basically it's just to really show what I'm about now. I mean, I've I've taken my time to craft certain projects and really um, create um, create a what should I call it um, a personality for myself. So people see me and they, they they know what I'm about to a degree. But it's now to really just show them completely what I'm about and for people to to try and become a household name now. Uh uh, uh you have flies. I have flies. Yeah. Oh, wow. Do I stink? <laughs> Anyway, back to what we were saying. So, what is going to be the name of your first EP? My first EP is entitled Initiation. Okay. So, um, what that means is basically, it's it's the, it's really the start of everything. It's really like I've had this time to now grow and understand myself and become the man I am today, and it's now that's to really step in and yeah. start this journey. There's a lot of amazing um, collaborations on the EP and at the same time um, there's a lot of me on there as well because obviously it's my first EP, I want people to really understand my sound and what I'm about. But yeah, no, it's, it's going to be a really good project so I'm just making sure that it's perfect for everyone. Is it going to come out soon? Do you have a date? Alright, since she loved Hood Love so much, you know, we started this so <laughs> I would do a little, a little bit of Hood Love. <clears throat> Oh neighbor on the ground, your body screaming loud. If hormones could talk, the feds will be here now. Baby, scream my name, scream it loud. You don't know it yet, but this is our last round. Tonight we're making hood love. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jordan King. It's been great to be on the show. Thank you for having me. And yeah, stay blessed and stay royal. Peace.